Hello, it's Markham Matosha, Chief from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be talking about setting up a make human character, or any character really, for motion capture data, facial motion capture data, especially through Breckle. So we're using Breckle as an example here. What we need to do is we need to be able to create a whole bunch of shape keys. So if I come down here into object data, we've got this area here for shape keys. Now, first off, let's import our motion capture data by going file, import motion capture data file bvh and let's open that up and so here in the background we've got our motion capture data so i'm going to be focusing on these that rotate on the x-axis not this facial motion capture here uh, because we don't have our face rigged for this but we're going to be using shape keys to control the way our face moves so if i have the armature selected in the background I'm going to go into pose mode and here we can go we can see jaw open jaw right jaw left frown blah 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 blah. down the end here we got brow up left brow up right brow down left brow down right so I'm just going to use those four as an example and we'll quickly show you what to do so I'm going to go into this character I'm going to go tab into edit mode i'll actually come back out i'm going to press plus on the shape keys to create a bias, uh, basis so this is obviously a basis um the the default mesh without any shape keys being put in this is what it's going to look like now the first shape key i'm going to create let's create one with the plus sign and i'll call this brow brow underscore down underscore l just so we got reference. Now I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to say this is his left side because this is his left side. And I'm going to select these four vertices. I'm going to press O to turn on proportional editing and G. So as you can see, everything's kind of moving. But if I use my mouse wheel and scroll in, you can see now I've got this circle of what vertices are affected. So I'm just going to kind of bring what are we doing? Brow down. So this is my brow down. And I'm just going to fudge this very quickly. And tab to go into edit mode. And now if I come over here, we can change the value. And you can see the brow down. Up, down, up, down, up. So let's create another one. And brow underscore down underscore R. Now if the model had been mirrored correctly we would be able to just mirror the vertices but we can't on this model so we're just going to do this manually g there we go so we've got that's the right and let's go left and for good measure let's do brow underscore up underscore l this is our L. So we'll select these four vertices again. G. Oh. And you can see he's nice and surprised. What? <laughs> and we'll create another one. Brow underscore up underscore R. And let's come over to the other side. One, two, three, four. G. And we can see got all this now. So now we need to connect this mesh to this data. Very easy. Make sure you support me, like, subscribe the video, it really helps me out. So you need to right click on the number because if you right click on the name, you're missing a whole bunch of options. Options. So right click on the number, add driver. What we need to do is we need to select the objects that we're referencing, which is recording, which is what I imported. And we are doing... What are we doing? Let's click off that. Brow down L. So right click, edit driver, brow down L. We want the type, we want the X rotation because that's the way it's rotating and we want local space. Let's do that for the other ones. So we've got recording, brow down R, X rotation, local space, and brow up L, add driver, recording, brow up L, 
I'm second guessing myself if that was right. X rotation. There we go. And brow up. Ah, cool. Recording. Brow up. Ah. X rotation location. So now we've got our drivers all connected. And now if we scrub in, we'll see in the background these will be moving up and down and these eyebrows will hopefully be going up and down as well. Mm, not as much as I hoped. <laughs> so let's have a look. What have I done wrong? Let's go. What we'll do is let's just try and go edit driver, update dependency, edit driver, update dependency, right click, edit driver, update dependency, right click, edit driver, update dependency. Let's just see if that fixes the problem. And you can see, oh, so you can see that these two are our ups. So if we come back over here, these should be our ups. These are our downs. And so we can match the eyebrows. Go back in object mode, come back over here, and we can see that the eyebrows are up. Now they're down, up, down, up, and they're up. And so neither up nor down. And there you go. So now what you do is you've got to go through the whole face. So if we go back into pose mode, you got jaw, open, left, jaw, left and right. Is the jaw moving left and right? Uh, frowning, smiling. So this is the mouth. Lower lip, lower lip, down L. And so what that is, is let me just go back into object mode is this section here. So we've got the frowns will be going, that's the smile, that's the frown. This is the lower area. And this is the upper area. Now you can see that I'm grabbing everything. What you can do is actually come back up here into proportional editing and select connected. And so only connected vertices will be affected. So we can get this kind of um, let's come back into pose mode. So that top area will probably be lips pucker, lips stretch. Not sure which ones those are. Lower down, lower R, cheeks puff, eyes closed. Yeah. And so you got to go through and you create all those shape keys. And then you've got full motion capture on a face. Make sure you support me, like, subscribe to the video, it really helps me out.